Hello, hello, it's Dana, making a mess again. Um, I wanted to come on and do a little uh, haul and a little project share. And so this is kind of a hodgepodge here and I don't know how to spell hodgepodge. So, all right, first thing is I went to, um, I got these from AliExpress these mini tags. I don't know if anyone follows Jessica Rapp, but she does some really cute things with these mini tags. So I ordered those off AliExpress. I also ordered these vellum stickers and I think they are adorable. I laid a few of the smaller butterflies out. Whoops. I got one of those. Um, I bought several of the stickers and I'm just going to show you the outside because you can pretty much see through the through the plastic there's some dragonflies and then these butterflies which I got two different sets um, these are out of the wind love butterflies you get two of each butterfly and this is the specimen butterflies. And these are a little bit bigger and more varied in color. And then these are just wings. So all sorts of fun little wing sets. Most of them look like dragonfly wings, but there are a couple that look like moth wings or butterfly wings like that. Some are double. But most of them are like these single wings. I thought those were cute. So that's it for the vellum stickers. And then I've got also from the same store, which I can't remember the name of, but I'll link it down below when this video is over. I ordered these. Now, I thought this was vellum. It is. Well, you know what? It might be if it's a sticker. Let me look. We will find out together. It might be a vellum sticker. All right. So, yeah. Oh, okay. It is. So, you can see it's actually sticky vellum. So, that's kind of interesting. I didn't know. So, the fact that it's not so transparent is because the backing is white. But I thought these were adorable. And they're a lot bigger than I thought. I thought these were small vellum stickers. So I'm pretty pleased that these are bigger. And look how pretty. I love the earth tones. I love all the neutrals. Because you can basically put it with anything. And it's going to, these you could cut apart. You could cut these apart too. You could probably cut a few of these apart. Wow. Okay. I like it. You could fussy cut them too, huh? And these are called, this is called, I don't know. This is called the prehistoric plant pictorial history is what it says on the package, but I don't think, hi, Grandma Joe. I don't think that's what it was sold under the name it was sold under, but if you're interested, let me know and I'll tell you what shop I found it at. Usually when I'm searching for stuff like that, I just put in vellum stickers. And they're usually pretty cheap. Okay, the next thing I ordered was, I want to say I saw this on, oh my gosh, I can't remember whose channel. I know it was a really super popular channel. And it might have been like, gosh, I don't know who uh, whose channel I saw these on. I bought these before. And I don't, I didn't realize that I, I bought this set, but I didn't have this set. So I, now that I recognize, I recognize the box now. Um, these are vet, retro labels, tags, and advertisements. And this says original stickers. So let's have a look, see, and see what's in this box. Oh, there's a lot. All right. Let me spray my water bottle. My skin is so dry. I've washed my hands about a thousand times. So you get three, it looks like three of each. Yeah. So there's some little coupons. Those are cute. Hi, Sue. 
And then there's this coupon book for ice. That's really cute. And there's a Disneyland parking ticket for 25 cents. I need to give that to my friend Andy because she's going to be making a book soon. And then there's some numbers. And then this is a steamship. It looks like a receipt for a ticket on a steamship. I don't know why that's not focusing. Let me see if I can, if I can hold my hand still, it'll focus, but I have a hard time holding my hand still. I don't know what that is. That's garbage. Okay. And these are world championship, world games, championship tickets for, I don't know. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> so that's good. Oh, great. Our eyes cut at your plant. So here's another ice. So as you can see, oh, here, this is cool. There's a tele, here's a telegraph operator um, ticket and then a heavyweight championship ticket. And this check is, oh, this is a coupon for 10 cents any pat, off any pattern. And it looks like um, it's a neck shaw is what they're, what they're advertising here from Butterick Publishing Company. Here's a Wrigley Field ticket, which this is much smaller than the real ones. Even the vintage ones were big. And there's a coupon again for Butterick. And there's a dress and a transportation ticket and LC Railroads. I'm starting to think that this may have been, there may be a cop copyright issue here. I think I've seen these somewhere before, maybe. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't make any accusation, but I do kind of recognize this. Oh, that's cool. Look, the original ride, the VW. Look, I got stickers stuck to my, now it's under my nail. <laughs> Good. So what are, what are you ladies doing? I cooked all day. It's ridiculous the amount of food I made. I made food for two parties. My my little afternoon get together and then my son is having a party later in the evening. Oh, that's cool. It's like a Studebaker wraps pharmacy. Ooh, that's cool. A diary sticker, a chocolate milk, milk cap, a pharmacy label, a car sticker. That's pretty cool. That little, little car. Let's see a tire advertisement. Oh, a little sewing machine label. This is cute with a little antique sewing machine on it. You can stick your name on it. Ooh, a boric acid pharmacy label. Um, I don't know what this is. It just has a pretty picture on it. This is vintage car service, washing oil, tire pressure. And then it's got a little place you can write the date. Here's a little typewriter label. I think we've seen these before. I think I hauled these before. Diluted hydrochloric acid. Vintage typewriter. That's cute. It has the little typewriter at the bottom. Um, again with this. This is the second one in there. This is a script pad for a druggist and an apothecary. That's pretty cool. Look at the right. Can you see the writing at the top? Let me see if I can hold it steady. If my hand moves at all, my camera won't focus. So let me set my elbow down and see. Uh. And then these are just pretty lined. That has a little crown at the bottom. And this has a stopwatch. It's pretty pastel -y. Here's a linseed oil uh, ticket from Swain Brothers Pharmacy and Druggist. So that's cool. Okay. Those are fun. These, I'm a little disappointed, are smaller than I thought. So I probably won't open all three. Um just because, well, let's just use your nails, Dana. My nails are already tearing because I have had them it, cooking all day. I can't wait to get my stuff in order in my room. I know. <sighs> I know it's hard to sleep when you're putting everything away, isn't it? But isn't it fun decorating? That's the funnest part of moving is once you get there and you're able to kind of start deciding where you want things and everything's nice and neat and clean and organized. Oh, 
tell me these aren't. Oh, oh, they are tiny botanicals. <gasps> Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. Can you see these? Oh my goodness. I love them. And they're all stickers. And they're shiny, which is a bummer, but I can matte, matte medium over them. And they're all different. Oh, I'm so happy. Aren't they pretty? Oh my goodness. They're like tiny postcards. That is going to be fun. I love botanicals. I'm obsessed with, with these stickers now. Okay, so maybe we'll open the other ones just to look at them. Because I was like really disappointed that they're so tiny. But now that I've seen that they're neutral colors and how pretty they are. Let's, oh, here some fell out. Oh, that's why they looked like upside down. Oh my goodness, they're hard to get back into this little box. Okay, so I'm going to just find an envelope to put these in. Okay. These will go in my ephemera, in my ephemera box, because they're clearly not going to go in here. Oh. All right. So this one says, that one says notes on nature. This one says previous books. So let's see what these are. These are, these are all backwards and forwards. Oh, these are pretty. Some are, some of the is music and some of them are newspaper advertising. This is an encyclopedia page. Tiny, tiny music paper, music paper, music paper. What is this? This says, oh my gosh. You know what? <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get my glasses. Astrocytes. Uh, atrocities. <laughs> I can't read. Oh my gosh. Atrocities in verse, it says, but that's all I got. The little writing, I can't see that. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm glad I didn't close up Denise's box. Look at that little teacup and, and rabbit. Is she still on Alice in Wonderland kick? She loves that stuff. Here's the mermaid. I should send that. I got to send that to Maria. Oh, you guys, look. See that? See where it says Dana's sarsaparilla? Can you see that right there? It says, it says Dana's. Is that going to focus? Let me see if I can hold it still. I wish I knew how to zoom in on my camera. There. Dana's sarsaparilla. Ooh, that's so cool. The story of Sisyphus. Greek. Look at this. Okay, so these are fun, and they're just weird. Like, it says previous books. Oh, look. Here's a little... Oh, my gosh. Look at all these little butterflies around this violin. Isn't that pretty? Let me see. Is that going to focus? Let me hold it up. Let's see if I can get the light to shine on it there. Look how dry my skin is. Like, put some lotion on, Dana. Oh, I got to send Sue this. I'm not going to show you. That's It's going to ruin the surprise. That is so stinking cute. And then some of these are just writing. I love this script, though. Look how tiny it is. Can you see that? Isn't that crazy? I can't see if my camera's focusing when my glasses are on. But you guys get the idea, right? Okay. Let me put this over here. Let me just set these over here. Okay. So I'll need to go through these later. One at a time and look at them. 
And you know what? I'm going to go ahead through the childhood box because I thought this was going to be all book related and it's not. Some of it's music and some of it's advertisements. And so, hmm. Let's go ahead and look at the look at the last box and see what's in here. You get a lot of them too. There's like a pile of little stickers in here. So that'd be fun, especially for when you make uh, clusters, you know, when you're making a little bitty, you're falling asleep. Oh, all right, Grandma Jo. Well, good night. Thanks for popping in. It's good to see you. Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence. Oh, I love these. It says with fond love. Can you see this pretty little girl? Oh, look at, look at them. Wouldn't that be cute on a Valentine? Oh, I got to send you some of these. Sue, look at these little kids. Oh my goodness. I got to send Sue this. Look at this kid leaning on a quilt that is not just quilted. It's embroidered. And it's being used as a tablecloth sitting in this little kid chair. Look at this little boy with his hat on. Or a little girl, maybe. Get that quilt. The quilt's not showing up. Oh, my gosh. This is so stinking adorable. Oh, my gosh. I love these. I, I spoke too soon. I was like, oh, I'm disappointed that these are, oh, look at her. Look at that. It says Easter greetings. It's like a copy of a card. And there's a little Victorian girl. This says happy Christmas. This says birthday greetings, but you could cover up the words or fussy cut them out. Here's another one that says Christmas greetings. And she's carrying something under that dome. Oh, look at that. That would make a pretty Valentine too. Oh, these are so sweet. This says Christmas too. Look at these little angels. Oh, look at them. Look at that baby. This is kind of offset too. That's not going to focus, darn it. Let's see if I can hold there. Isn't that pretty? These are adorable. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this little girl's so cute. Oh, I love them. And they're all old fashioned -y and Oh, here's one that says to my Valentine. What do I do with the Easter one? Oh, I got to separate that. I've got like a little holiday file over here for holiday stuff. And then I have a Christmas file. It says wishing you a happy birthday. Look at all the blue I love these flowers. Uh, they, I think these are called bachelor buttons. I used to have some. Isn't that cute with the blue flowers all around it? Oh, okay. I'm going to go on with my haul because <clears throat> I literally, excuse me, I got a frog. Um, I'm going to have to go through these individually too because, you know, I got to separate everything so I can find it later. If I throw it all together, I'll never, ever see another one that looks like one I want. That's why I just really can't shop anymore. It just takes me too long. Okay, next, the gift. I want to show the gift. My friend at work left in my mailbox the coolest thing. She said, a couple of friends and I went junking and found these vintage-looking cigar wraps. I thought you could do something crafty with them. Um, so sweet. She left this in my in my box at work. And um, she found these antique cigar wrappers. And they're so cool. So, I think that's really neat. That's really sweet of her to think of me. And... I am definitely going to do something crafty with them. I'm going to include some of these in Thad's journal. Of course, I have to. And I'm going to put her note back in here just because that way I remember where they came from. Okay. The next thing is um, 
I have two things left. My Michaels Hall and this book. I wanted to show this book I found. Let me set these aside. I found the most awesome book um, on a used book site. I was looking for a script book. This is by Jan Karen, spelled K-A-R-O-N. Jan Karen. It's called A Continuous, A Continual Feast. This is Words of Comfort and Celebration collected by Father Tim. It is a um, religiously inspired book, but it is written, it is printed in all handwriting, hand script. So I love the fact that they quote Emerson and, and Longfellow and I mean, just the Bible. There are Bible quotes all through this. Um, Gregory the Great, Chinese Proverbs, James Russell Lowell, Lord Byron, you name it. It's in here. I mean, uh, Cicero, Edmund Burke, Schweitzer. I, uh, who else? I don't even know. Let me see. Mother Teresa. So, oh, her quote. Oh, I love this. Oh, I got to put this on something. It says, if you judge people. You have no time to love them. Aww. I love the fact that this is all in script. I might have a hard time taking it apart. Okay. So next is Michael's. Um, I know everybody saw, like everybody who gets their ads and their emails saw that they had a couple really good sales in the last few weeks. I am still not going into the store, but they have the pickup. So they print this out, they staple it to the bag, and they bring it to your car. So I couldn't resist. So when they had all the string beads for $2.99, this is what I bought. I bought Bead Gallery pink, pink Mixed Beads, and I got two of those. And I think these are really pretty. I like the fact that a lot of them are different. Um, the only two alike on this strand are these tiny little, other than these spacers, are the big pink uh, raspberry beads. So you get three of these little flower spaces, two of these little rondelles, and then these faceted. Oh, these two are alike too. But I love this. And this is like plastic and metal. And it's got rhinestones around it. And it's just really cool. And the hole's not giant in the top. So you don't have to worry about it wiggling around on your, on your project so much. I love this gold one too. I like weird random beads like that. Then the next one I got is the Amber Dragonfly and Rose Mix. I got four of these. This, I cannot, they, my store can't keep them in stock. Because I keep buying them. So it comes with Amber this is a little ceramic bead. This is meant to look like wood, but it's polymer clay, apparently, or plastic. This is a copperish ring with a little carved rose in it that kind of looks like wood, but it also is either polymer clay, plastic of some sort. Again, the amber. I love this. It's kind of a, it reminds me of a Buddhist, um, or a Oh, I can't think of the name now. And then it's got the big dragonfly on it. And then the same things going the opposite direction at, at either end. This is, so you get two of each of these and one of these. So I ended up buying four. And again, that's, that's the bead gallery, amber dragonfly and rose mix. And normally that's, I think eight bucks a strand. So I got them for $3 each, which was a really, really good deal. And then I bought the Vintage Shimmer White and Silver String Beads by B. And so I love this. This I've never seen before. It's one of those raspberry beads. But I don't know if you can see. It's got literally, it's got clear facets on it. Can you see that it's covered in clear facets? And inside the core is a white bead. I think that is so cool. And this bead's not bad. You get two of those. You get two of these. These are pretty generic, but I love these metal beads. And they have a little peace sign in them. Check it out. You get two of those. 
and I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but can you see, see that? There's a little peace sign inside, all around peace signs. And then this middle one is like a, like a polymer clay with, with metal pieces pressed into it and some bling. Um, and then you get two of these smaller ones, same thing. I think it's like a polymer clay of some sort. So that was $2.99. Then I bought the, uh, of course, I had to get the ladybugs. I bought the red ceramic ladybugs for $2.99. And then I also bought vintage, oh, I'm sorry. This is the, I skipped this, metal rhinestone rondelle beads. And I, it's kind of hard for me to find this metal. I like this, um, like this bronzy looking metal and it's hard for me to find rondelles with that metal. They're usually either gold or silver. So I bought some of these and ran out. And so I bought some more. So for $3.99, you get a good amount of them. There's 18 per strand. So I like those. And then this is the vintage shimmer multicolor strung beads by bead gallery or by bead landing. And so again, I, lo I love this center bead. I'm obsessed with this. It's cream colored with gold, like an antique gold trim. It looks so vintagey to me. And then you get a couple more of the polymer clay beads with the, like the rhinestones and metal pieces pressed into them and the bead caps baked in. And then these uh, kind of iridescent looking amber color beads. And I love the, that these raspberry beads are actually covered in pearl. I kept zooming in on these when I was looking and that's different. I've never seen these pearl raspberry beads. And so I thought those were super cool. I thought that would be really pretty on a journal. You don't even have to add anything to that. You could literally just take that whole thing and make a charm or half of it or whatever. I love it. So that was my bead haul. Um, and then I got back on the next, couple days later and I went back and bought uh, three more of these envelopes. I haven't bought these in a while and I was going through my, my dies and they're all kind of still a mess. So I needed a few more envelopes. I could actually probably use nine of these, but I think if I use both sides, then I can have things fairly organized. I used my coupon on these so normally they're $9.99. I got them for $4.99. And but I already took them out of the package. See, they come in that, they're come in that package. And then I also bought um, they had the big ink sale. All the inks were on sale. Um, my store was out of everything, but I have been looking for white ink. And if you guys remember, Sue made me amazing hard recently. Hold on. I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, I can't reach it. No, it's on the shelf over here. I can't reach it. Well, Sue made me an amazing card. And it had, she had put, she, see, sh, um, she had put seashells on it <laughs> in white ink. And I love it. You know what? I did buy some of these um, rondelles from Allie, but you cannot buy just, when I looked, you couldn't buy just this um, antique bronze color. You had to buy the mix with the gold, silver, and antique bronze. And I have a bunch of gold and silver. I don't use gold and silver that much. I love the antique bronze. And so I couldn't buy just those. Also, sometimes they have colored um, beads, and these are the iridescent. I don't know if that's, I don't think it's picking up on camera. It looks kind of blue, but these are the iridescent B, um, uh, what do you call it? Crystals or whatever those little rhinestone rhinestones. These are the iridescent rhinestones. And so they kind of turn the different colors as they hit the light. Um, I prefer the clear ones, but I like the iridescent ones too. 
So I've been looking for a white ink. And so I bought the Glacier White Opaque Ink. I hear this is good. I was watching. I, I usually, whatever I see people use, I think it was Artie Mays. I shouldn't open this because it'll probably stay moisture if I don't. I think it was Artie Mays I saw use this. But when Sue sent me that white card, I got to thinking a lot about the fact that I don't have any white ink. No white ink. And so that's what I ordered. It was $5.99. Um, thank you, Sue. I don't need any right this minute. But yeah, if, if um, you already ordered them, it'll be in your, um, it'll be in your history, your purchase history. Okay, so on to a project share. I have uh, one, one I consider a failure and one I consider a success. So, I don't know if everybody remembers, I had bought these little flowers in the party section at Hobby Lobby um, on my one trip out, uh, <laughs> my one brave trip. Um, and I decided to try and make castles with them. Now, they did not come out awful. They didn't come out great. This is a layer of five of those flowers. So I think I put too many in and that's why it kind of ended up like so tight in there that it's kind of squished down. And I probably should have tried all one color, but I wanted to put different colors in so I could kind of see how they hung out in there. Oop. Oh, I didn't, I didn't glue this. So this, um, I'm going to glue in here, but I think first I'm going to run a, um, a little piece of wire around it to secure it in. Um, this, I actually poked a hole in them. I glued the layers together first. This is only four layers and this came out much, much better. I alternated the blue with the orange. I ended up, I started out poking a hole in them with my, my, um, crocodile but then I didn't run the wire through. I just went ahead and kind of squished it together, but I did put a little drop of glue on each layer, not exactly in the center so that I could eventually shove it in here. But I didn't really like this. And I thought I would get a smaller, maybe a smaller bead cap and try it with that. Plus that's not my favorite color. Um, these tend to fray a lot too. So I don't, I don't love them. But I don't hate them either. And if you just take one, you can actually take one, put a second one kind of staggered over it, and you can fold it four ways and tuck it up in a tiny bead cap. And I think it would look just fine. Um, I was trying to do something a little bit more that I thought it would poof out, kind of like a crinoline skirt would poof a dress out. <laughs> and it didn't work really because they're too short. So, hmm, yeah, so that's that. So, um, not the, not the best idea. I consider that was my failure. So let me show you the one I consider a success. I got this from, oh, what is her name? Now I got to find her page. She is the paper. Um, gosh, I'm gonna have to put a link to her page. But I, tr I followed a tutorial um, on how to make these little books. And I had a bunch of manila file folders and they all had ink blotches on them. And they're old. I have a whole box of them. Um, and what you do is you cut it, you score it, and you age the edges. Then you cut paper, like when you're making a mini album, like when people, you know, do the, the perfect insert. Um, paper. So you just cut your paper and I tried to match the picture here. This one folds out a little bit different. I matched the picture here. I matched the picture here and up here and then I made a pocket over here. So um, and then what you do is I decided to go ahead and put some eyelets here to sew my pages in. So I'll show you what I did with that. This was my final one, I put a little tassel on here with a bit of fabric um, and a bulb pin. And I took the same fabric 
and made a sunflower and then used Fabri-Tac and cut me a piece of burlap in a half moon shape, half circle shape for the center of the, um, of the sunflower. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I tried to match up my picture. You have to have two sheets of paper, of matching paper to do this. So I had to go through my stash and kind of look and find what I had pretty that I wanted to use. I put some trim here, some lace trim and a little bling. And then inside, oh, I set some eyelets here too. And this is just waxed thread that I chose in kind of an off-white color. And I took my aging, my ink, and just aged it a little bit to match. So you don't really notice the binding so much. Then I used coffee stain paper. This is from a German dictionary, and I really like this word. Jessica Rapp, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Jessica Rapp. I bought a bunch of these stamps. Um, I try to buy one every now and then when I can afford it. Um, she collaborated with a guy on Etsy or, yeah, on Etsy, I think, or eBay. I'm not sure. She has his link in her videos about these Dresden labels. So I bought several shapes of these labels. So I stamped this word and this is signs glitchen. I don't know if I like, I have no idea how to pronounce this word, but I think that's a cool word. And it means that, um, he has no equal. There's no one like him. I think that's a cool word. I also think this is a cool word. I stamped Seelen Groby. Seelen Groby. I don't know how to say that, but it means greatness of soul or mind. Very cool word. I thought that was a cool word. So this is just coffee stain paper. I only put six sheets in. I was going to put five and one of them torn. I thought, you know what? I'm going to leave it. I put a bird page. This is a bird that we see locally a lot and I like it where I where I sewed the pages in, I just put a couple little tiny keys in the, here, let me hold this up. I put a couple little, couple little tiny keys. I just tied onto the strings there and they hang down enough that they shouldn't interfere if you're writing. And all of these pages are blank. I did virtually no stamping, but I'm thinking I'm going to probably add some stamps. And there's another word back here which is kind of weird. It's, sh I don't, schwulstig, and it means bombastic or turbid. Now, uh, bombastic is, means what? Full of hot air or whatever, or that you talk loud. I don't, I don't remember what that means, but I made some tags to match. I tried to, again, match up the paper, um, tried to match up the key. Here's this cute little baby. Um, and so I made a couple tags that you could journal on. This is some baby's breath Mod Podge to a piece of wax paper with a little bit of napkin laid over the top of it just to make a dimensional decoration. I think it feels so cool. I think that's so neat. You need the German stamps. They're not German stamps. They're just label stamps. And I stamped words onto from a German to English translation dictionary. But yeah, I'll find you some cool uh, German words if you want. Because it's fun. Look at every, every page I read until I find something cool. There's something cool on every page. Yeah. And I like cool. Okay. So that is it for my project share. Um, I just used this little bit of ribbon to tie this off. I burnished the ends with a lighter so that they would not unravel. And that is it for my project share. Oh, I put a little eyelet here. I tried to put it in brown, which kind of matches the picture a little bit because I didn't want it to be distracting from the, the lovely picture of the nib uh, the quill, quill, uh, quill pen and the, uh, what is this wax seal? I thought that was pretty paper. Okay. I feel like I'm forgetting something. There's something else. What else? What else? 
Is that everything? I guess that I guess I'm done. That is everything. That should be everything. I had a lot of little things combined. But uh, yeah, so I've already done these. I um I pulled the dictionary apart a while back and I've already coffee stained some of the pages. So they're nice and crispy and ready to go. So I'll send you some. Right now I just tore out like the S's and the T's and through Z because, well, because I don't know why. The back of the book was falling apart, so I just started in the back. Um, so, like, um, let's find a cool word. Okay, let's see. Um, Some of these sound like English words. They sound exactly like school means school or education. <laughs> oh, here, shunned, rubbish. Shunned is rubbish. Shuffle is scale. Sheer eisen. Oh, poker. There's a good one. Poker to poke or stoke a fire. Well, okay, maybe that's, I thought it was poker like, we're going to play cards. Let's win some money. Or lose some money. Oh, here we go. Showing health. A beautiful woman or a thing of beauty. See how easy it is? I I'm telling you, every time... Let me shut this drawer. I have two side-by-side... -side, um, two side-by-side -side, um, file cabinets that are at an angle. So you can't open either. Like if one of them is open, you have to close the other. So let's, let's mark that before I lose it. Ooh, here's Shunten, to flirt or to flatter. I like beautiful woman better. Let's mark that. So yeah. So see, it's that easy. Literally just to, to kind of read through. Oh, this is pretty. Beautiful handwriting. This shrift means character letter, beautiful handwriting, holy scriptures. It means a lot of things, actually. It can mean composition. That's interesting. Boundless, unbridled. There's your word right there. Boundless and unbridled. Shrunky. Let's do that. Yep. Okay. So that came out a little darker. But, and it's crooked, which that's okay. But I'm telling you, there's, there's fun stuff on these. If you just look, right? I'm going to stick these back in the drawer for now because I'm making a mess of my whole desk. That's all there is to that. So, I am going to guess what I'm going to do, Sue. I'm going to clean my stamp with the stamp cleaner you got me. Okay? Look, stamp and mist. Always forget what side is what. This is the wet side. Look at that, like brand new, brand spanking new. See, all gone. I love that thing. That is awesome. That might, this might be the top. Oh, I pinched my finger. <laughs> Ouch. This might be one of the bestest gifts I've ever received. This is this is definitely a handy dandy thing. You know, it's one of those things you don't know you need it until you need it. Like now that I have it, like I can't not have it. I always have to have my stamp cleaner. If I ever go on a crafty retreat, I'm going to have to bring my stamp cleaner with me. Okay. So that's it for me. I have to go to bed. I have a big day tomorrow. Every day has been a big day. Seriously. Every day I've either worked or I've had a big day. I need a, I need a vacation. Desperately. Desperately. Clean and ready. Yes. Stamps are clean and ready. I wish I was clean and ready. I said I was going to do all these things. I was going to paint my nails and I was going to exfoliate. 
and put on some lotion on my dry hands. And I was going to pluck my eyebrows a little bit. I thought about maybe even wearing some mascara and, you know, stuff tomorrow. But, Roth, excuse me, I got any hiccups now. Good. Now, um, I think we're just going to get in the pool. So, yeah, that's out. Like it. Never going to happen. <laughs> Look like a raccoon. So. Okay. On that note. With the hiccups, I'm going to go. So thanks for coming. You have a good fourth, Sue. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I will see you. I don't know. I don't know what I'll see you. Text me or something. And I hope your doggy does good. Sue has the sweetest dog and he's kind of tripping tonight over the over the fireworks when I talked to her earlier. Oh, my lamp's coming down. And Thad's not home. So, yep, that's going to fall. It's going to crash any minute. Here we go. There's my lamp. Yep, I saw it going. <laughs> good. Good deal. Okay, I'm just going to set it right there. That's his, that's his, I know, darn fireworks. Okay, so I'm half lit. Nick, nick, nick. All right, maybe I'll use this to put these in. I bought this and then I didn't end up using it for what I was going to use it for because of the way the pockets are shaped. And when you turn the pages, everything falls out. Yeah, that's what Dollar Tree. So. Yeah, I didn't end up using that for what I thought I was going to. So, alrighty. You too. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Bye.